gentlemen, welcome aboard this live launch with Hunky Dory TV. The crafting captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign, and we are now cleared for takeoff. In preparation for launch, please ensure all of your troubles and worries are properly stowed. You won't be needing those today. Our flight time will be a craft filled 60 minutes or more, and the Hunky Dory crew are now ready for departure. At this time, we ask you to sit back, relax, and enjoy our video presentation. Live launch takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. We have live launch liftoff. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Hunky Dory Craft TV this week. My name is Rebecca Monks. I am so happy to be hosting the show today. And I'm happy to have you guys joining us. We have got an amazing show lined up for you. It is a brand new launch. It is our watercolor escapes collection. So if you love the look of it, if you've jumped ahead of us on the website, you are gonna wanna look at um, the amazing stuff that we've got to show you on the show. Running us through everything in the producer's station is Gemma. Good morning. Good morning. And absolutely raring to go in the demonstration station is Kat Holland. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for some crafty fun today? I am certainly raf rafty. Oh, start again. Cut. I am certainly ready for some crafty fun we're this morning. All, we're always ready for a bit of crafty <laughs> fun here. Or rafty fun. Rafty we fun. We don't know. You know, we just love it. Okay, couple of bits and pieces to tell you before we got um, get into our main watercolour escapes collection is our trolley dash yesterday. <gasps> Wasn't it fabulous? Wasn't it? It was a great show. Natalie and Dan, the dynamic duo. Um, it absolutely flew out the doors yesterday. The, it, it's nearly all gone. Um, Absolutely no lie, it's nearly all gone. There's only a couple of products left. I know you had your eye on some things, Kat, and I gone. did, and it's gone, It's yeah. gone, so, you know, do not miss out. Um, don't be like Kat, go and check out, get them, <laughs> get them before they go. Um, so today, as I said, we are gonna be showing you our lovely, fabulous finishes watercolor escapes collection. We've got some offers, we've got some demos, um, but before we get into it, let's have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. Okay, do you want to be in with the chance of winning this amazing Premier Craft Tools craft storage case? Who wouldn't want this in their lives? Um, it includes six sturdy, high quality, spacious storage boxes, all in this amazing little case that you can stand up, you can just slide them in and out, you can close the lid and carry it round on the go. And it's just perfect for everything. Yes. Gemstones, little bits of loose toppers, pens, adhesives, foam yeah. pads. Yeah, your ink pads. Oh, of You'll course. You'll fit six of yeah. your little prism ink pads in there perfectly. Absolutely. You can even get a memento and a versafine two by two yeah. in there, can't you? They are just fabulous. And we've got six winners. I can't believe that. We've got six winners this week. Um, that is just so many. So if you want to be in with the chance of winning, as usual, we need you to like and share and comment with the answer to the following question. Okay, so which bird's arrival in April is said to signal the start of spring? Is it A, a tweety bird, B, a swifts, or C, cuckoos? How exciting. Ooh. We're feeling the spring vibes, aren't we? It's yeah. Not, the spring vibes aren't feeling us, it's still a little bit dull, <laughs> um, but we're ready for it. So let us know, what do you think? And you could be in with the chance of winning one of these fabulous storage cases, which will just get your organisation off to a flying start. Okay, so the main bit of our show, now that's all done and dusted, is our fabulous watercolour escapes. Shall we have a little look at some VT? Have we got one? Well, 
wasn't that lovely? Just an amazing bit of inspiration um, and a little bit of a sneak peek on what's to come on our show from our amazing design team. Okay, so let's get straight into it. This is our Watercolour Escapes collection today that we're launching. It's one of our fabulous finished collections. And all that means is that we have got a fabulous finish on it. So as you can see here, the foiling is textured, which is just going to give you so much depth and dimension to your cards. It's going to make them look so fancy, yeah. so luxurious, so much more expensive if you make to sell your cards. And with it being the watercolour escapes, the design team have done such a fabulous job. As you can see, just from this first little topper sheet here, we've got those dreamy watercolour scenes um, that have just looked like they've just been hand painted, don't they? They're so artistic. Yes. Um, they're just lovely to give a just soft, beautiful finish um, for your cards. We have got every season covered in here, so you will see that as we go through the collection. Okay, so where should we go from? Shall we go from here, Gemma, and show the toppers? Amazing. So this one is our um, summer days for you. As you can see, you've got, let me just lift it up across that. Um, would we be okay to take the banner off as well? Amazing, just so you guys can see these in a little bit more detail. So as you can see, you have got that textured foiling throughout. You've also got little touches of sort of paint splatters and watermarks just to give it that really nice, soft, delicate finish. You've got um, lots of different shapes in here. So this one is called Summer Days. Um, so you've got that um, beautiful sort of coastal topper there with the seagulls on the fishing boat. Perfect for all those summer cards. You've got the country cottage with the beautiful um, pathway there and the fields and the meadow and a couple of floral toppers there for you as well in a really nice gentle um, painted finish for you got lots of sentiments thank you home sweet home um, sending birthday wishes just for you and you're blooming lovely oh i know um so you get two of each and then you're going to get your matching cardstock so this again is your this is your foiled cardstock Again, we've got that paint splattered detail, so really carrying on that effect through, coordinating absolutely perfectly. And there's just so much that you're going to be able to do with this. Um, you know, you're going to be able to chop into this. You're going to make some fancy folds, maybe some steppers or some fold backs, some Z folds, whatever you want to do with it. And then we've got this one. This is our printed cardstock, just with that beautiful summer scene. It genuinely looks like it's been it's come straight off a painting. It does. I mean, depending on the decor of your home, you could put these in frames. If you go for that really nice country, artistic look in your home, these would just not go, these would just not go amiss in frames. Um, they're so beautiful. You get all that floral detail and all that scenery. So wherever you chop into your cards, you're gonna have so much detail. Whether it's that beautiful sort of raw iron gate with the flowers, whether it's the hills and the cottage, or whether it's those beautiful dreamy watercolor clouds you cannot go wrong with this whatever size of cards you're making then we go over into our autumn dreams toppers so these are going to be perfect for all those birthdays later on in the year and as you would expect from an autumn themed topper set you have got those beautiful oranges those rusts those radiant reds and lots of autumnal details on here as you can see that fabulous finish you can pick up the swirls and the texture in that foiling for you. Um, I love this, you know, the stone wall there with the sheep and the um, ducks and everything, the wildlife, sunflowers, orange leaves. Isn't just this one just so, so perfect for autumn or just anyone that just loves this sort of colour palette. It's stunning. So again, you get two of each and then this is your amazing cardstock. So we've got that paint splattered corner there with the sort of Moroccan tile sort of feel and um, pattern there and we've just got those sunflowers just splashed onto the page almost they're absolutely beautiful and then again your printed cardstock is that wonderful edge to edge scene there for you with that stone wall so if you wanted to make 
this a full A4 card, you know, maybe score it here, make your card bases out of it, and then you are not losing any of the detail on that scene. That would be absolutely wonderful. I'm just so excited to show you this. You've got this moody grey sky on this one, so it's perfect for tying in with the season. Then we've got our winter wishes. So as you can see, we've got that hellebore, the snowdrops on there, these beautiful pink and green fields, so unusual there for you. Uh, and these have got lovely sentiments. Get well soon, happy birthday, thinking of you and have a wonderful day. Little tags at the bottom, which are just perfect for the finishing touches. Your foiled border strip there, look how much detail there is on that foiling. I don't know how the team do it on the machines. They're incredible. And then again, your coordinating cardstock with those beautiful snowy, snowy snowdrops. Snowy snowdrops. <laughs> You know, you, what's better about snowdrops? Snowy snowdrops. <laughs> we love them. Um, absolutely beautiful with that rich navy colour there for you. And again, I love the way the flowers are just splashed onto the page. It yeah. really makes an amazing impact, but still leaving it with that soft, delicate finish. Um, you know, this just looks like it's straight off a postcard, doesn't it? Oh, this one is so beautiful. The colours are just stunning. I know. Does it remind you of um, nice trips up to Scotland? It Kat? does. It really does. Yeah. Definitely. So if you are one of those that loves your staycations, loves your country escapes, your watercolour escapes, um, you are going to love this collection. It really does remind us of all those fabulous summer holidays in the countryside, which Hopefully, we are going to be getting again this year if we get some nice weather. And finally, this one is our spring surprise. So absolutely perfect for right now. It's got those daffodils, those bright gerbras there, um, the yellow meadow there. Doesn't that look amazingly inviting? Um, brighter days are coming. Sending love to put a spring in your step. And best wishes on your retirement. You've got a birthday wishes there. So these are going to be covering all your occasions. And these daffodils and gerbras just look perfect in this watercolour effect. And then again, the matching cardstock. Um, if you wanted to, you could be fussy cutting. I know they are very, very gentle. Um, so there's not any bold lines to fussy cut, but it would still look wonderful. Um, we've got some amazing cards to show you, as well as Kat's demos that she's got lined up for you. And then this is the printed one. Again, just following that scene. So perhaps if you wanted to use snippets of all four and do like four squares on a card, that would Ooh, be... Oh, that would be nice. Would be nice. Yeah. You've got all the seasons in one. I think that would be a great card. So this is 19 99 if you want to buy it on its own. We do have it in that fabulous bundle, though, where you get the toppers that we've just shown you with all the cardstock, your inserts and papers, and your little book. Thank you, Gemma and your concept cards as well. Look at how much you are getting for 36.96. All of this could be yours if you want it in that bundle. I will just quickly flick through the little book and then we will go straight to Kat. So this is our square little book. Um, 150 pages of beautiful watercolor scenes, artwork, floral details. Um, we've gone absolutely crazy with what we couldn't jam in this collection we have put in here for you so you get those coastal scenes there by the beach in a little bit more detail for you um amazing fields flowers and it's just i love the thing i love about this collection is just the artistic feel to it you know someone is going to think this is amazing artwork they're just going to be blown away by how professional and artistic it is again those country cottages with those stone walls the sunflowers there for you um the daffodils and the gerberas so you could even personalize this to who are maybe their birth flower maybe their favorite flower there's just so much you're going to be able to do with this i think this is the foxglove with the bees there for you Amazing little pages here, full of sentiments and um, birthday wishes, lots of love, something to brighten your day. Really easy shapes to just cut out. So when you're finished with your topper sentiments, you have got these to go back to. Again, we've got all the autumn, autumnal colours there for you and the winter sort of purples and navies. And these are just, I just want to be in this scene right now. I know. <laughs> I want to be in a meadow, smelling the flowers, the hills in the background. Uh, we've got poppies there for you. Just watching the bees buzz by. That would be my idea of 
heaven right now and perhaps you love your country holidays too and um, let us know I just love these they've got this really nice sort of torn edge finish so if you want to fussy cut them or perhaps use your torn edge nesting dies these do go great with those it's funny you should say that funny we should say is it Nothing really giving anything <laughs> away but funny you should say that they just go perfectly, don't you? <laughs> don't they? And you get this one as well with that sunbeam just coming in. It's just, I can't believe we can get that into a little book, that sort of effect. And then we've got this one with the beautiful waterfall, those sort of white painted cottages for you. Beautiful, beautiful scenes. This really is escapism. Watercolour escapes is the right name, isn't it? Definitely. It's pure escapism. Um, but enough from me, let's go straight to the demonstration station for our very first demo from Kat today. Are we ready? We are. So I am jumping forward to okay. this Autumn Dreams. Take us forward a couple of months, not so I'm going to wish times away. And I am going to work with the landscape picture on here and the landscape background. And these backgrounds to me just absolutely scream to be cut into and layered up. Oh, they really So do, this is what they? I'm gonna do with this one. So I'm gonna start, I am gonna make a seven inch card, but my focal point is gonna be six inches. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. So as I've said before, with your, um, a4 piece of cardstock, if you cut to three notches under the six inches, you should get just about two equal pieces out of it. So I can mix and match the two bits that I'm going to work with. Okay, fabulous. So three notches under the six. And then I'm going to cut into it before I do any further cutting down and then I can decide what I want. Amazing. So on these, you can see I'm going to cut across the brick wall okay and then the background effect here so i'll take the brick wall off this one i think and the hills hills from this one wonderful yeah it absolutely does look so good layered up uh, you know you can pop some foam pads behind and it's really nice and easy to cut because it's almost a straight line isn't it really it um, really, really is, and but then again, because it has got that little bit of fluidity to to it, you don't have to be a hundred percent perfect with no, your cutting. No, that's it. But you, without the sort of fine, finickety little details, I think it's beautiful to fussy cut in this way. Yeah. Um, good morning to everybody. Um, we have had a couple of comments saying there was technical issues. We really hope those are sorted out for you. Um, but good morning to everyone joining us. Good morning to Jean, Pauline, Debbie, Jackie, Mimi, Julie, Linda. So many of you joining us. So we hope you are loving the show so far. So just make sure that that piece is by three notches under the six as well. And then I'm going to go in and we'll take the mountain scene from this one. Now there is tiny little telegraph poles in there, but I'm just going to cut them around them because you're just making more work for yourself. They're a that little bit really, too fussy, really, aren't yeah, they? That you really, really don't need. And then I'm just going to trim this a little bit at the bottom just so I know where it's going to sit on my page. I don't need to do anything fussy. Just I want to make sure that one brick wall isn't showing over the other there we go and then with this piece I'm just going to trim away so I've got a nice flat edge so then I've cut myself a six inch by six inch gold mat and we're just going to start layering these these up on here now so this is my sky and it doesn't matter that it doesn't reach the bottom because obviously we're going to be covering it with those other two pieces that oh, we've yeah, definitely. already yeah. cut. Don't be, there's no need to cut into another piece of cardstock when it's going to be covered up. Absolutely. No. Um, oh, Debbie Comerford says, love the new collection. Watched Anne-Marie yesterday. She did some great demos. Um, she really did. Um, she was very, very excited. As are you, Kat? You're loving this collection, aren't you? So different. It's so lovely. So before I go any further and start sticking these on, I'm going to start adding my top elements because I want my frame to go at the back. 
Okay. So I need to make sure I put that in place before I put my next two elements on. Perfect. So I'm just going to take my largest frame and pop that out. And again, it's just a little bit bigger. If I was to put it on exactly like that, it's a little bit too big for what I want. So I'm just going to snip, snip it down a little bit so it gives me a bit more room to, to play with. Okay, yeah, fair enough. And then I can decide exactly where, where I want it. Amazing. And again, it's all gonna be hidden, so you don't need to worry about it looking too fancy at this point. Amazing, just jumped onto YouTube to say good morning to everyone in there. Good morning, Paula, Anastasia, Leanne, Zena, Emma. Loads of you joining us, which is so, so great. Thank you so much. And you've come at just the right time. That frame looks beautiful behind there, just peeping over. It, it almost gives that sunset effect. I yeah. know it's not quite the right time, but it just, it just does. So now I'm gonna go in with my foam pads. So with my first one, I think what it's easy to do is to add this on here first. Oh, make turn it into like one And then piece. I know where I want it to go. Yeah, just all the incredible detail from those leaves, those walls. Perfect for anyone that loves their sort of escape their walks, their hiking, it's just going to be perfect. So I'm just trying to figure out which way. Yeah, so this is going to be my bottom piece here. So I want one layer of foam pad that's going to sit on top of this one and then my bottom one I'm going to make two layers. Oh, to sit on your card? Yeah, so it, that'll sit on the base of my card. And then for this one we're just going to want one layer at the Fabulous. At the top, she thinks. So if we put this top layer on, just so I know exactly where I'm covering that brick wall, so I've not got it on twice. Amazing. Just line my edges up. So there. Okay, so this foam pad sticking a little bit too much at the bottom. So I'm just going to remove that and I'm going to go in with the thinner foam the pads. Thinner ones. Yeah. Which is the great thing about our foam pads is we do them in every single size you can imagine. Yeah. And even if not, you can cut them down. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, they're just so great. I just could not live without our foam pads. So we're just going to match this up to the sides and the bottom so we get that normal kind of matte and layer finish that we're used to. And now it just it might be hard to tell on camera, but you just get oh. that much more layered. <laughs> Thank you. Layered effect to your oh, cardstock. Oh yeah, stock. definitely. You just get that little bit of depth to your to your landscape. So now we'll return to our topper. We'll pop away the middle frame. And we're just gonna add this back into the middle just to give it that really, really popping edge. Yeah. So we're gonna need to pop three onto the back top bit here because we've got two layers already behind. So I'm just gonna use some of these off cuts that it we've already got here. Continues the effect of that stone wall, doesn't it? It does, definitely. Oh, do you know, stone walls like that, especially in that sort of grey slaty colour, they really remind me of like trips to the Lake District because you see a lot of slate there. Yeah. So gorgeous. Um, but yeah, let us, let us know where you love to go on your staycations and trips. Um, like I say, I think you like get up to Scotland quite a bit, don't you? Yeah, and yeah. And your mum and dad quite like going up there? They do, yeah, yeah. We had, we've got family history in Scotland, so my mum lived in Scotland for a good few years. I'm going all to boots with my foam pads today. I've put them on the wrong way around. I do apologise. So I'll stick that back at the, what is actually at the top. Yeah, so, I'm, yeah, I've not been to Scotland for a good few years now, um, where I usually go in Scotland, apart from going to Glasgow the other week. Um, 
Oh. What am I doing? Somebody help me. You're going to put them put them straight onto there. I don't, I don't know. Let's do this <laughs> just so I know for this time round. Shouldn't talk and craft at the same time. It's thinking me today. Eventually, I think I've got it. There we go. There we go. We'll pop it in. So pretty. Yeah, but this these scenes do really, really remind me because my um, nana used to live in a cottage in the middle of a field, very oh. much esque of these pictures. So yeah, it really, really rings true with me. Yeah, definitely. I was very lucky to grow up in, well, from about nine to when I was a teenager, I grew up in the countryside as well. And I didn't like it at the time, but whenever I go back and visit my mum and dad, I'm like, yeah, this was special. I should have definitely appreciated this more. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be the main focus of our card. But just to add a little bit more to it, to my 7x7 seven seven design, I am going to take some. I'll give you a sneak peek of some of the beautiful oh. double-sided papers that we've got. And I'm going to take this lovely orange. I'm going to use it on this side. And we're going to cut this down. I'm going to come... Uh, a full quarter of an inch under my seven and then just like another like little half an inch. Fabulous. Because I'm going to cut into this again just to give a little bit more detail. Of course. So yeah. effectively that's four and a half notches under your seven inches. Um, happy birthday to Wen Smith. Morning. I'm just catching up with you now. It's my birthday. Thank you for spending your birthday with us and we hope you have a really, really lovely day. Um, Chris Smart says we do Scotland every year and this year we're going to Wales. That sounds lovely. Hopefully you get some nice weather. Definitely. I think we're all, we're all ready for a nice treat and a nice little getaway, aren't we, this year? 100%. So with cutting the measurements like that, what that allows you to do, I've then cut it into four random sections but it just gives you a little bit more detail to your back. So you, you end up, it also gives you a nice even line going throughout your paper stock at the back. Amazing. So I'll take a little bit of construction glue and put these in place. I think it's really nice as well with that all over pattern to break it up the way that you've done as well. It just really draws the eye in, doesn't it? It just gives a little bit more detail because most of it, again, is going to be covered up when you stick your main focus on, but it, it just, yeah, it just gives something else in the background, just another layer, another Absolutely. dimension. Oh, Kat, Susie Smith is going to Mexico in September. Can we oh. come? Can we come? I can't, I can't do September. I'm going to New York in September. Oh, so, are you? Yeah, How exciting! So... I've started the holiday. I've started the holiday chat. I'm very <laughs> naughty. <laughs> so we'll pop these down. And there was no specific measurements for these. I just kind of eyeballed them, knowing that I wanted one panel slightly thicker than the other, and then my two top and bottoms in different places. So. Fabulous. We it's like hard. that kind of crafting that's not just, we don't have to think too much. No, no, so. absolutely. And that's the thing with our kits, aren't they? They make easy crafting an absolute breeze. Absolutely. Um, you know, whether you want to make those five minute cards, you can do, or even if you want to spend, you know, all weekend on a project, you absolutely can do. And it will still be so easy because everything's coordinated, everything's perfect, everything matches. You don't have to pull colour schemes together. We do all that hard, well, our design team do all the hard work for you. <laughs> so let's not take all the credit. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we, we bash out a few cards, don't we, Kat? And yeah. <laughs> So just that, a couple. Yeah, so that hopefully you guys at home can get the very best experience with your own crafting. Um, Kathy Burgess said, the Lake District is our most favourite place. This is on YouTube. We live on the South Coast, so it is a trek, but so well worth the journey. It really is, absolutely. It's a stunning, stunning place. Um, I think we feel very lucky to live in the Northwest, not too far away. No, not at all. What size is your card, Kat? Is it seven it's by a, seven? We're doing a seven by seven card, and I'm putting it, this one in a tentful position. 
I'm going to pop oh, this on here. You do here. like a tent fold card, don't I you? I do, yeah. So, and now I'm just going to bring in, I've got hidden here some of these gorgeous, like, gold fleck gems that just work oh, yes. so, so perfectly with the Fancy Finishes collection because oh, it just picks up that, that detail. Uh, we have got those coming up for you on the show, guys. Um, Kat's giving you a sneak peek, but we will be showing you those in full detail um, very, very shortly. We've got loads of goodies on the show today, Kat. We I have. Can't believe, I couldn't believe it when I came in and it was just an <laughs> absolute haul. Oh, it was amazing. That. So I'm just going to mix and match these colours just to make them pop a little bit more. And two of the dark ones at the bottom and then just one of the lighter ones in the middle. This is stunning. And there are a lot of layers on this card, but I think it just lends itself so beautifully to it. What a stunning card. That is incredible. And like you say, that artwork just speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Kat. You're welcome. What a wonderful card. Oh, wow. And we've got more to come, so do not go anywhere. <laughs> okay, also, as part of your bundle, you are going to be getting these inserts and papers. So for the bundle, uh, sorry, on their own, they're $9.99. But if you are getting them along with those toppers and that little book, um, and the concept cards, it's thirty six ninety six. So these are our absolute classic hunky dory inserts. Um, beautiful soft. Oh, that's upside down. Sorry. Beautiful soft finishes there for you to just really, really finish off your card so so perfectly. We've got the autumn one that would go perfectly in Cat's card there for you. These beautiful can, daffodils. Can I pinch that daffodil one once you've used it, oh, Of please? course, there you go. Got something later on. Thank you. Amazing. Okay, we've got the sunflowers. We've got, again, more of these scenic finishes. So whatever finish you want, whatever cardstock you've decided to use, there is a matching insert to go with it for you. You're going to get 24 of these, and then you are going to get these double-sided papers. So as you can see, they are double-sided. So whether you want to do sort of fold backs, mat and layer them both together, or just mix and match them, make panels, borders, whatever you choose, this is going to be incredible. It makes, I feel, pattern papers make your cardstock and your kit go even further. Definitely. Um, because you can use them just as backgrounds or any extra little touches that you want to. Beautiful all over patterns there in that amazing watercolor finish that's echoed throughout the collection. And then we've got some really nice, busy, bold patterns on the um, sort of A side, B side for you. And um, we've got this beautiful green um, damask print there for you. Um, stunning and the all over daffodils for you. So it's gonna go again so great with that seasonal look that we've got with the winter, spring, summer and autumn. Um, this one is our sort of winter one with that sort of tile effect there for you in the diamond shapes. And then we've got those all over, I think these are hellebores in the snow with those blues and greens, just picking up that beautiful wintry detail for you. And then we've got this one with our poppies on. And then the one that Kat just showed us, that stunning all over burnt orange pattern there for you. So you're gonna be getting those inserts and papers. And then these are our sort of added extras that we think go perfectly with the collection. So these are outside of the bundle, but well worth stocking up on. So we have got our adorable scoreable. So this is 30 sheets of our A4 uh, 350 GSM adorable scoreable. You know it and love it. We've got a little slip there with all the colors on that you're going to be getting as part of this collection. Really, really beautiful. And it's going to go so, so perfectly with that for you. Um, adorable scoreable is an absolute stash must have, isn't it? Um, who doesn't love it? Again, it's going to make your kit work harder. You can use it as your backgrounds, your bases, your mat and layers. Um, however you like to use your adorable scoreable, you know you can rely on it. It does not crack. It does not feather. It does not crease. It's perfect for fun and funky folds. Um, we just couldn't be without it here at Hunky Dory. You've got that beautiful earthy colour, that sunshine yellow, which I could just see going with those daffodils, with a blush pink there. 
Um, the pumpkin spice, I love this colour. It's so beautiful. Um, we've got, what's this one? This is our chalk white, um, our fresh apple. Stunning, absolutely stunning. And, you know, it's just perfect to just have in your stash anyway for you. It is. It's a really good collection of basic colours yeah, there for you. Yeah, it really you, just is. On its own. I think that's the great thing about having four seasons in one is that you get all those yeah. colours from across the, uh, across the spectrum there. And then fi finally... Um, before we go back to Kat, we have got our amazing Watercolour Escapes Luxury Foiled Acetate. So this is 16 sheets here with beautiful gold foil in detail for $11.99. The patterns marry up perfectly with the collection. So as you can see, you've got this, um, this tiled corner here which would go perfectly with maybe that pattern paper that you used, Kat, would yeah. look stunning because it's the same design. And then it just finishes off into this paint splattered effect. So absolutely gorgeous. And you get that on, obviously, on both corners there for you. We've popped it behind some um, white cardstock just so that you can see the patterns a bit more. And as well, don't forget with... Um, Gold acetate, the reverse is silver as well. So if you want to change up your colour scheme, you absolutely can do. Um, yeah, so you're going to get 16 sheets of this. We've got this one, this all over paint splattered effect piece. This is a favourite of yours, isn't it, Kat? Definitely. I know you loved yeah. working with this in the office last week. Absolutely stunning. Um, we've got this one as well. Let me just turn that round. You know, that would look great either just trailing down or as probably intended just that sort of meadow finish however you want to do that beautiful sort of um wild flowers and leaves there for you that stunning foliage and it is all foiled for you and then finally your last oh. one isn't this one stunning and it, because this one is quite subtle it really doesn't detract from any of your card stocks no. or your images that you've got behind it you've got these beautiful birds just floating across that acetate there for you it's a stunning stunning pattern it's so so beautiful um amazing okay and um, we're just going to give you a quick reminder of the win it weekly question for our fabulous um storage box um so if you did not catch the beginning of the show to be in with the chance of winning this um we need you to like and share for us please and answer the following question which bird's arrival in April is said to signal the start of spring? Is it A, a Tweety bird, B, Swifts, or C, Cuckoos? Worth $17.99. And store, you can't have too much storage, Definitely guys. Definitely not. We love it here. Okay, brilliant. Let me show you a few of our card makes as well from the fabulous team, just whilst Kat gets ready for her demo. Uh, we have got this one again using some of the acetate and the adorable scoreable and our little book page there for you you can really sort of see the torn edge on that lovely dark dramatic scene there for you um we've got this one as well making it into like a little half panel those cute little tags there oh i love this one and um, i think this is one of natalie's cards she's made it into a sort of z fold oh, chop that's that mine oh is it yours i think it's mine yeah that's not like you not to write your name on the back <laughs> um beautiful snowdrops there love that you've doubled up on those toppers they're stunning um again fussy cutting those daffodils off making we're, we're loving z folds this week here guys <laughs> um beautiful beautiful cards and you know that it's just going to be perfect for all year round crafting. And um, we'll show you a couple of more of those throughout the show. Um, but Kat, are you ready for your second demo? I am, yeah. Yay! Definitely. Should we go in the little box? Oh, yeah. And may or may not be using, well, that's a lie. I am definitely using the torn edge nesting dies. So I have picked this beautiful Gerbera page that's in there. Oh, so lovely. just a full on floral one for this one. And I'm going to be matching this up with this, the beautiful Gingham cardstocks that we had last week. Because I think these work so perfectly together. And you pop that on there. So, let's start with this. So, I've, I've taken out three pages because we get six of each in our little books, don't we? So, we've got plenty to work with. And the first thing I have done is I have taken my square torn edge nesting die and I've just placed this round the edge and I'm going to create a frame. Wonderful. Now, I'm going to be using my edges, uh, nesting dies, to create 
to cut panels out of here but i'm not doing it like in a traditional like decoupage effect like we usually do we just like either pyramage it up or that like that i'm okay. playing around with it a bit to nice. give a little bit of a different effect we're looking forward to seeing something different cat so we'll take this one first oh i really i've got everyone started on the holiday chat amanda rudd says we're off to scotland in may we love the place and we're right on the seat. It's a seven hour drive. Oh, whereabouts? Uh, Embo? No, don't know. <laughs> I think it says, it says at Embo. I'm not sure. Um, but we hope you have a good time and I hope you've got some snacks for that journey. Definitely. <laughs> so for this one, I'm gonna take my super skinny. Ooh, I think I've got a little bit of construction glue stuck at the end there. So I'm gonna cut that off just for ease of use so i'm taking my super skinny foam pads and i'm going to use this as a frame for around the outside just to make the design pop out a little bit more wonderful yeah i think these torn edge nesting dies really give that sort of i don't know it just adds to that artistic rustic vintage feel um like you know really gives it a handmade look hand finished look it does um, and the fact that the little book has that effect on as well, it just makes it the perfect partner. Um, so if you are wanting those, um, just go onto our website, hunkydorycrafts.co.uk, and you will find all our nesting dies, including these fabulous ones that Kat is using, the square torn edge nesting dies. So I'm just going to peel this off. Um, there and then the next layer I'm going to take my smaller ones and I'm just going to arrange these onto the front I'm going to leave a blank space here because this is where I'm going to put my sentiment when I finished but I'm just going to arrange these onto here oh, and tack love them this. down so we can start getting this like kind of peekaboo effect so just tack them into place. And the beauty of these is that you don't need to worry exactly where they are because that's the whole kind of nature of the die. Oh, and yeah, the that's that it. Yeah, if they move a little bit, it'll be very forgiving, I mean, won't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, this square little book, 150 pages of amazing artwork these fabulous flowers and I love this as well like I say it's everything that we couldn't just quite cram in I know the gerberas do feature on the topper collection but they're only like one small topper so once you've used that if you still want to make gerbera cards you can go to this it's going to be an absolute go-to definitely so we'll place this on okay oh the top like this loving this idea so again, just in with your skinny foam pads or any other bits and pieces that you've got left. I think I've got some little uh, bits that I used before that I can stick in these thicker areas. So you want to make sure that you give quite a good coverage with your foam pads because you've got, with it only being a paper, it just needs that little bit of extra support to hold it up nice yeah, and absolutely. nice and firm yeah nice good coverage you don't want it bowing anywhere do you no no not and especially um when you want you've put that detail in for a reason so you want to make sure that it finished perfectly yeah, yeah of absolutely course. of course oh carol rooney is saying love this design cat i think this is an idea we're all going to be uh adding into our list of things to try Good, good. Well, we've not quite finished yet. We're going to go in, do a little bit more. Oh no! So then you can place this back over the top. Amazing. We didn't think you just were finished it. yet. Oh, I love that. So just line it up best you can. So back in. So then we're going to take the bits out of here that we've already got, and we're going to cut into these ones more so we can discard that one because that's our little list so we're just going to keep that one as a peekaboo as it is but we're going to switch around our dies onto here now so i'm now going to take the middle size one and pop it on here so i can cut another section out of here and add it back in 
just to keep with those. And then we're going to take our smaller one and pop that back on there. So we're just mixing and matching just to keep adding and building these details up. Yeah, definitely. Um, we've been loving little books at the moment. I know we had, we've had a couple of shows and tutorials on them, and this is just an yet another way to use a little book. This is it. You always think, right, I must have done everything I can possibly do with a little book now. And then you'd like, oh, but actually... We can do this. <laughs> I can do this. Absolutely. And even just getting a different set of dies out just gives you that inspiration, doesn't it? It really does. Um, so, so many ideas. And even just going back to old favourites, you fall in love with the technique all over again, don't you? You do. Just trying it with different shapes as well. We, we tend to stick to... Our ovals, our circles, our rectangles, our squares, just because they're our comfort zone. They but are, just going they? in with a slightly different shape yeah. can really make such a difference. So now we've got two more layers that we can play with. So again, we can just add these back in. So I'm just going to pop these, pop this larger one. We'll just put this on one layer of foam pads and then we can pop this back in the middle like you do. Just line it up with the original image. Stunning. Pop it back in. Really gives those flowers some height, dimension. It does. And I think we'll add two to this one. And we'll come back in here and then I was maybe I should have put I meant to put two layers of uh, strips around here so I'm just going to go and quickly do that I'm trying to be quick it's funny as soon as you say I'm going to be quick your body just seems to go into an absolute go slow oh i know don't it's crazy isn't it <laughs> it's, it's it's this studio it, it does crazy it things has to us weird effects on us absolutely beautiful so i'm definitely playing with the layers today definitely uh like lots and lots of height and dimension well why not i think absolutely as, as well with with just such a beautiful feel i think it just I don't know, it just makes it look even more like dreamy, all those layers that you can just dive into on your cards. Um, really have some fun building these up. Yeah. Right, pop that in there. Take off the back. So in reality here, I've miscalculated and because I've used my sheet, twice for the border and for the inputs and then the layers i have only actually used two sheets to create you've got all that out of two pages out of two, out of two pages so. we do love a little bit of thrifty crafting here at hunky dory um i mean don't 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 get us wrong we can be a bit extravagant sometimes but we do love a bit of thrifty crafting and the fact that you've got all that dimension and height and lift out of just two pages, pages. i know crazy isn't it and you get 150 yes so you know you've still got 148 pages <laughs> after this with. one card yeah. so i'm just going to cut myself a gold mary layer to five inches by five inches absolutely that's perfect and as well if you want the um if you want Miri that will just go perfectly on top of your little book um we do sell Miri mats for these um, obviously it's very easy to cut it down but if you want them ready made we do sell those on our website hunkydorycrafts.co.uk so we'll pop this on here they're an absolute lifesaver sometimes the miri mats aren't they oh they are yeah oh it looks beautiful cat jackie bradley says it's like a jigsaw puzzle <laughs> it is 
So pop this onto our card base and then I'm going to go to our sheet that's got our sentiments on. And I absolutely love this when we do this within our little box. Oh, When me we too. add the sentiments. Oh. Because sometimes if the only thing you're treating yourself is to the little book, then you've, you know, you've still got sentiments in absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Are you using the uh, new Core Essentials? I am, yeah. As I said at the beginning, I was going to mix and match it with the, the oh, new... Oh, that goes perfectly. So this is the six-inch gingham in the yellow. And doesn't it work so, so well? It really does. So I'm just going to trim this out. Oh, everyone is loving this. Um, Cheryl Allen, cannot make a card without Miri. Hazel Taylor, another lovely card cat. Oh, thanks, Mum. Oh, is that your mum? Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's your mum. Mom. <laughs> of course. Um, Jackie De Chance, another amazing card cat. So, just trim that around. Put that with a foam pad. And then I'm going to go all out and I'm going to bring in. I did bring in. I don't know where it's gone. A little bit of orange ribbon. I've oh, lost it. Um, Have I dropped it somewhere? Let's see if there's any orange in here. Well, I, can, I can see some, just some skinny little just bit of orange. Just a little orange. skinny bit on here. Yeah. Oh gosh, if I can get this lid off, there's that much ribbon in here. <laughs> can you see? It? Yeah, there I can. We here go. we go, this bit here. That'll be perfect. Thank you very much, Becca. You're very welcome. So I'm just going to cut a little bit. Oh, yeah, I love that. Tiny little skinny bow. Pop of orange on there. Uh, Myra Langdon, super card, loving those colours. Another idea to add to my little hunky-dory book of hints and tips. I think we've all got one of those, haven't we? Yeah. Um, like I say, just another way to use up those little books. We absolutely love showing you the most, like how much you can really get out of these. Absolutely. I um before I worked here, I used to be a little bit afraid of little books. Oh really? Because I was a bit. Oh, I'm not sure what I could do with them. I'm not sure. And and it took me a while, but once you find what you want to do, and you've got those few few things that you like doing with them and tricks in your book, then you're absolutely sorted. Oh, and you definitely. You can make cards for days. Definitely. There we go. Thank you so much, Kat. You can what just see all those lovely shapes. Beautiful card. That torn edge nesting die really does look perfect with it. Um, if you haven't got those already, add them into your basket. They're an absolute must have. Stunning, stunning card. Thank you so much, Kat. We've got one more to come. We have. Uh, we will squeeze through the rest of our show um, so that we can get onto that amazing fine third and final demo from Kat. Um, just wanted to show you a couple more card mates that we didn't get time to before. Absolutely stunning. You're not going to be stuck for ideas with this kit at all. We've got this one again with that acetate cut into a triangle shape there for you. Um, another beautiful one with our adorable score ball. Um, this one as well. Kat, is this one of yours? Uh, there's no yes, name. Yes, yeah, There's yeah. no name on it. You didn't write your name no, this well, day. No, we were kind of rushing a bit that day, weren't we? We, we so were, I didn't yeah. Really we didn't really have time to even write three small letters on the we back. We were absolutely eagerly awaiting the arrival of this kit. Again, this one just layered up on some foam pads. Look how much dimension that's got on those hills. Absolutely fabulous card from Natalie there for you. Um, you're not going to be stuck for ideas. Um, if you head onto the website, there's loads more inspiration on there for you as well. Okay, so let's show you the final last few products that we've got for you. Um, we have brought you these amazing moonstone dies that go perfectly with our little book. Um, because of it being a square little book, these are designed absolutely perfectly to marry up with those. Um, so we've got our vintage filigree frame. Again, just really giving it that um, artistic painted style feel. You know, look at framing it almost makes it look like a piece of work, artwork by itself. Definitely. Um, you've got the corners there, the label, the sentiment that cuts in. Look how much you're getting for your money there for you. Um, so if you want all of these, they're $34.98. They are available separately, but what a great price on the bundle for you. And then our final one of this duo is our floral tile frame. 
could see that working so so well with um maybe this sort of print here with that tile-esque finish on there for you beautiful patterns there and um, for you and sending love so you get two sentiments there and um, with that lovely hexagon detail in the middle so much for your money the seven metal dies included in this kit um, so they are our dies which we believe go perfectly with this collection and any of your square little books we have got matching ribbon for you here as well um, this is coordinated perfectly you've got the orange the yellow um, exactly the same color as what Pat used in her demo um, we've got the pink the navy and ribbon is just an absolute stash essential anyway you can't be without ribbon just adds the most cute little finishing touches onto your cards uh, you've got the olive green the violets in there um, you're going to be able to pick out a color for your projects perfectly with this and then finally Kat did treat you to a little sneak peek of these two it's going to be doing my job for me guys <laughs> it's our gold leaf diamond sparkle gemstones these are brand new in today aren't they Gemma they are amazing. Um, so we've been working with these for the past couple of weeks, but we can finally show them off for you. So there's four new packs to choose from. Um, they're a little bit bigger than perhaps some of our other gemstones. So if you really like that bold bit of bling, you can't go wrong with this. I've just realized my nails match perfectly with this turquoise one. <laughs> um, very distracted here. Um, they've got beautiful encapsulated gold flakes in there. If you can just see them on the camera, aren't they stunning? Gold leaf effect, aren't they? So they're so glamorous, very, so luxurious. Very. Um, so we've got this one here for you, which is our monochrome delight. That's got um, our white with the gold leaf, um, our sort of neutral one. This would be great with those sort of khaki colours, yeah. anything like that. And then we've got our rich sort of midnight black there for you. Um, you get 72 in a pack and we've got three sizes for you there. Um, such an amazing way to just finish your cards. A little bit of a touch of bling, touch of glamour there for you. We've got our blues and greens here, right across the spectrum. Uh, I could see this beautiful sort of purpley one going great with those um, snowdrops and um, hellebore. It would, wouldn't it? Topper set, absolutely. Um, and then we're going into the more turquoises, and then finally this absolutely luscious green. Um, so you've got four colours on here, so tons to play with. Mix and match like what Kat did, you know, two of each, one in the middle of a different colour. Yeah. Really makes your cards pop. Um, we've got this one, which is our pinks and purples. Again, really encapsulating those brights and those pastels and darks as well. This is a very nice, rich colour, um, you know, with that sort of ready purple, the fuchsia, um, the sort of dark, moody, cabri purple there for you, and then going into that lilac and pastel purple. So you are not going to be stuck for choice with these. And finally, our vintage tones there for you, giving us a little bit of... Um, sort of sepia vintage vibes there for you with those browns those neutrals beiges and a little bit of a dark sort of color there for you as well you can really see those facets and those gold leaves just encapsulated inside those gemstones it makes them look so much more expensive than they are um if you do want those they are 2 99 each get those added into your basket with all your other amazing gemstones um and finally, I can't believe this is the final product before we come back to Kat. <laughs> this is our pop-out window concept card kit. This will create eight complete concept cards. This does come in your bundle. Um, can we just pop the details for that again? Amazing. So the topper collection, the concept cards, the inserts and the papers, and the little books for $36.96. So you're going to get another eight cards out of this just on its own. Um, but if you do want it on its own, it's eleven ninety nine. So they're going to make a Pyramount window card. So you get your envelopes here, um, your bases. So you get one for again, uh, sorry, two for each season. So we've got the daffodils. Um, we've got the like I say, I don't know whether these are gladioli or foxgloves, which. I think it's not a bad thing. It just really gives it that soft, delicate feel that, yeah. you know, you almost can't tell what they are with that little beautiful honeybee there for you. 
um, the one with the heli balls on there for you and the poppies as well. The same level of detail goes into these as all the rest of the products in the kit. So you're getting that fabulous finishes, the textured foiling, the paint splats, the all over beautiful patterns on both sides. So there's gonna be no white spaces. Do not worry about hiding anything like that. And then you get these, which are your um, layers to go in there for you. I will show you the ones made up so you can see how easy they are to put together. So you get two of each of those. And again, we give the same level of detail to these patterns on both sides, detail all the way across for you. Um, they're just stunning and they're so fun to make. They honestly take about 10 minutes to put together, if that. Um, full instructions for you. Um, as you can see, there's our stunning example card for you. And finally, we get our embellishment sheet. So you get, again, you get two of these. So what you get included in this really is incredible. So you get, um, again, they're split into the sort of four zones, so you know exactly what goes with what. Um, these three build up to a really beautiful pyramid topper. Um, you get two sentiments, three butterflies, and a border for each of your cards there for you. They're so easy to put together. Let me show you some of these that the team have made. So when they are finished, it is going to be a beautiful sort of pop out window card. Doesn't that just look stunning? And whatever angle you look at it, because that detail has gone throughout the card, you know, you know you're gonna have no white spaces. The detail just carries on. So whatever angle you look at it, it's going to be the most beautiful, perfect card. And um, so easy to do. They You've really literally are. got two panels to stick down, add your pyramid topper, and then decorate it how you want with your little extra yeah, elements. Absolutely. And they're so fun to put together, aren't they? Um, again, we've got this beautiful um, daffodil one here. Perfect for this time of year. Perfect for Easter if you're still Easter crafting. Um, and then again, we've got this beautiful sort of pink um, summer card there for you. Again, I just love that the foiling on here is just so dramatic and beautiful. Those little butterflies there. And you can put them wherever you want. Ooh, that was a lot to show you guys and <laughs> um, we hope you love it as much as we do um we are going to get one final demo for cat so are you ready i am ready fabulous oh let's go so coming back to where we are now and i've got to use these beautiful daffodils because we're feeling those spring vibes yeah, aren't we they're all out now they are so do warn you in advance there is quite a lot of cutting with this card so you might want to get out a pen and paint pencil to a uh, pen and pencil pencil and paper to write a few measurements down okay uh, i've not made one of these cards in ages so it's fun to go back and revisit some designs Absolutely. so i'm going to start with some gold miri now you could make your base just out of your, your white card and then mat and layer everything up but i found doing it this way you miss a step if you're very careful with how you place your layers afterwards <laughs> and it just makes life a little bit easier for you. Okay. So I'm going to make my base out of my gold mirror. So I'm going to cut this down to five and three quarter inches. Okay, with you so far. By 11 and a half inches. So if I was to fold that in half, it would be a five and three quarter inch card. Okay. But with this piece, I'm not doing that. And then I'm going to bring in this beautiful acetate. Oh, it really is stunning. And I'm going to cut exactly the same with this one. So we're going to go to 11 and a half. Which is just a tiny little sliver off the end. And then five and three quarters. Now what I'm going to do now We'll come back to some more cutting in a little bit. I'm going to use, this is going to be folded in half to create the outside of my card. Okay. And then I'm going to cut, uh, score some steps into this okay, one. Okay, yeah. So it's going to be an inner stepper with an acetate on the outside. Amazing. So let's bring in my scoreboard. Dropsies. Oh, it's just there. Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that. 
So I'm going to place my mirror down, and I always prefer scoring on the back of my mirror. Oh, so definitely. Yeah. So obviously, with your long side across the top, we are going to score at one inch. No, we're not. Let me just rub this out. <laughs> so if you do score in the wrong place, if you just go back over on the other side, I've just said I don't like scoring on top of my thing, but it's a good opportunity to show you. You can get it out. Oh, I've been there. If you're very gentle and you go over, you can kind of push it back in. I am going to be matte and layering over, so it'll probably be okay. But you can get the most of it out. Yeah, and I think once your correct scores are in there, you're not really going to notice no. it, are you? It's going to be covered up by that beautiful acetate. And what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to turn my piece of card round so it'll be on the back, so it'll be covered up now anyway. So we're going to score at one and a quarter inches. Amazing. And then two and a half, so that's two one and a quarter inch panels. And now we're going to come up a further two inches, so we want to come to four and a half inches. And then we want another two, so we come to six and a half. I love this style of card. And then we're going to score at nine, which is will leave us with two two and a half inch sections. So now we can fold this all up. Give it all a really, really good burnish down and you end up with this stepper effect on the inside of your card. And then we're gonna take our acetate and we're gonna score this at halfway at five and three quarter inches. Give that a good burnish down. And the idea is going to be, once we've matted and layered everything up, we are going to place this on the back panel. Okay. And the front panel, so we end oh, up. Oh yeah. With like the stepper oh, inside yeah. the I love this. In the card. I, I did something really similar with the dotty acetate, but completely different measurements. And I'm going to be adding this new set of measurements in as well because they're just fabulous, aren't they? And they're so yeah. nice and easy to put together. And if you've got acetate to show off, it really does show it off in the best possible way. Definitely. So let's go on to our cardstock. And now it's just a little game of manipulating your one sheet of card stock to get all the panels that you want to of out course. of it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim away this border because I really want to pick up on the daffodils. I was going to call them butterflies, not butterflies. Daffodils. The daffodils, daffodils element of this one. Okay. So I'm just going to trim away the border at the bottom. And of course you can save that and use it for something else. Oh, definitely. And then I'm going to cut two five and three quarter uh, panels but it's going to be little it's going to be my three notches under so effectively that's one notch over the the five and a half oh people have got goodies on the way suzette harrison reader can't wait for my order to come i have two lots coming <laughs> how exciting it uh, is, isn't it? It's, oh, isn't waiting for a hunky dory parcel the best feeling ever? Um, Jackie Bradley, wowzer, that acetate looks well amazing. Um, that's precisely the words I would have used. It really it is, is it well is amazing. amazing. Yeah. You need it in your life. Um, Amanda Rudd, I'm waiting for my order to come, can't wait. It's got the gorgeous dotty card in it and hoping to make some lovely Easter baskets from it, inspired by Kat's demo the other day. Ah. That's very nice. Right, so first of all, I'm going to cut my middle section. So because I've got my gold piece at the bottom here, so I'm going to cut the piece that's going to go here. And it's just so when I stack up my layers of cardstock, I get the, the best effect I've found. Yeah, of course. So I know that a section is two inches deep, so I'm going to come three notches under my two inches. Amazing. And then from this bit, so I've got the top of my flowers, I'm going to cut my first section. So that's, we know it's one and a quarter, so I want to come three notches under, so that's just one notch over the one inch. I love this. 
And then for my back panel, I'm going to transfer that one out and I'm going to bring this one in. And I'm just going to trim a little bit away from the bottom. Oh, um, Diane Wichello is just saying, what size are the concept cards? I have just measured them. I did think they were five by five. And they're just under, so your envelopes are five by five. Um, if you are wanting to know the size of our concept cards. And for my final panel, we know that section is two and a half, so I've just come three notches under the, the two and a half. Yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to cut is I'm going to get that sheet of insert that I pinched off Rebecca before. Oh, yeah. And we're going to cut that down to the same size. Did so wonder again, where that was coming in. Well, this is for your panel on the back because you're still going to need somewhere to write a message on your card. So this is where this works perfectly. So I'm going to come my three notches under my, let me think, five and three quarters. Like I said, there's a lot of measurements with this one, so. And again, that's the same panel size panel as the back, so we want to come three notches under our two and a half. Yeah. And just to continue that look on the back is just going to look incredible, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And this is where we get clever. This is where you cut out your mat and layering, because if you place your adhesive in the right place for the front and the back panel, Oh yeah, you, you can get, hide it all. Yeah, you can hide it all and your mat and layering's done with you for you just by using your card. So the first two pieces that we are going to pop down, the ones that we know we can get in there are these two here. So we can just go straight in with our construction glue for this one to make life a little bit easier for ourselves. Amazing. Um, Maggie McKenzie said place order yesterday it's getting delivered tomorrow Ooh. wow fantastic guys what a great job they really are on top at the moment um, so you know if you are placing orders today that is going to be going out as soon as possible for you they are doing such a great job um, so you know that your goodies are going to be with you in super super quick time I love this car it's looking incredible We'll get there. It takes a little bit of doing things in a little bit of a different order. You usually have a set order to where you put your cards together. But with this one, we do a bit of that and then a bit of this and then a bit of that. Yeah. But we get there in the end. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to take this beautiful topper. The, I keep going to say dandelions now. I've got random words in my head today. Daffodils. Daffodils. And then I'm going to pinch. I'm going to mix and match. And I'm going to use the inner frames from the more scenic yeah, of top course. up well, here. I think this one's a little bit smaller, isn't it? So you can, are you going to put it inside the steps? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to do different things on different parts. Bit of both, bit of both. Bit of both, yeah. But because you get two of each topper in your, in your set, then you can have a bit more of a play around with things. You're oh, not definitely. stealing for good. And I'm also going to take the scenic one, the long one from down the bottom here. I'll put that back over there until I'm ready to take some sentiments out of it. So first of all, I'm going to take my frame, and I don't think there's a wrong or a right way for that, and I'm just going to add some construction glue just to the bottom part. And I'm going to pop this to the bottom over to the left hand side here. Okay. Not fully, but enough. Then we're going to take, make sure I get my tops and bottoms right. So I'll turn that over. Couple of foam pads on the bottom here. And we're going to add this inside. And it's I find it's just easier. You can do this when you've got your acetate on the oh, front. Oh, it's more it awkward though, isn't it? Is. Oh, dear me. <laughs> and we just pop that in there Ooh, now. Love that. So we've got a nice element inside. And then we can go back 
and we, this is where we'll fix our acetate on and then we can decorate the outside. So I'm going to take some double sided tape. I would usually use red liner for this but just because it's a little bit quicker to work with today I am just going to use this but I would advise that you use red liner oh, at definitely, home. Yeah. Now this, if you're very very careful with the placement of your tape and make sure you're not going past where your mat and layer borders would be, this is where you can build it up without needing to do a base and then add a full mat and layer on top, if that makes sense. I think so. Yeah. I'm, I'm holding out. It's going to look, we know it's going to look amazing anyway, so. <laughs> So we'll pop this down. I'll show you again on the back. So this is, you can go straight in with your acetate now. So just very, very carefully line this up to the edge of your card. Oh, so many people are saying they're loving the service from the team at the moment. They are getting orders out so, so quickly. Um, thank you so much. That really does mean a lot. We really do work so hard to get those orders out to you. So to get your compliments about how quick and easy our service is at the moment is means a lot to us. So again, exactly the same on the back. So the idea is that you're still getting your matte and layering effect, but you're just sandwiching your acetate in between it. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a great way to um, hide it, isn't it? So bring that over and then close it. It's a really Lovely. nice card to do. Like I found that when I did it with the um, dotty card, uh, the dotty acetate. I found that I really didn't have to think at all about hiding your workings, which is sometimes so difficult with acetate, isn't it? It is. Whereas this is just so forgiving. There's hardly any, there's hardly any workings to cover at all. And even when you do, they're really easy. You're like, yep, just pop a mat and layer on, good to go. Yeah. And because you've got those steppers, that's where you can stick your foam pads and things like that. So it makes, makes it so much easy. So now we just, Place this over like we would our normal mat and layer and all your workings at the bottom are then hidden and this is where we'll take that insert panel, do the same at the back and then you've still got that nice little section where you can write your message on your card and like you said you could use your stamps to stamp something in the middle before you pop this down. Oh yeah that'd be nice. Um, Leanne over on YouTube has said she loves the bird acetate. Well, you get that one as well. You get all the patterns. Um, so you're going to be absolutely spoilt for choice with this acetate. Yeah, such a clay. Such a beautiful kit. And again, with all our acetates, there's usually a couple in there that are very like specific to the kit, but then yeah. there's always a couple that you can mix and match and use with anything. Oh, like definitely. This one here. And I think this is one of those, those yeah. sort of splatter effects or rain, you know, they could be raindrops, they could be paint, it could be anything, it could be almost like little polka dots, it's up to you, it really does go with anything. It does. So now I'm going to take that little section that we took out from between the frame there. I'm going a bit extra on this one, but I well, don't care. why not? <laughs> I'm going to pop this on in a diamond effect. Now this one is a little bit harder to hide the workings, it, you can't really, but if you go in with our red liner tape, yeah. and, and I let's think be fair, people are going to be looking at the front of the card, they're not going to be concentrated on the back. I was, so. I was just about to say, where you're placing it anyway, no one, even though you can't hide it, you're not going to see it anyway. No. Um, unless you're really going to get into that card, which like you say, no one's really going to do that. No. Um, it's just stunning. It's such a stunning card. And one last one. I've lost the end of my tape. There we go. I 
misplaced my pokey tool today, so I'm having to use my craft knife. But oh, it does, really? Exactly Isn't there the one in thing here? Thing. It's just, now that I've said I've misplaced it, I've, I've seen You've it straight away. It. Yeah, of course. But I'm doing what I'm doing, and I'm going to stick with it. Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to upset that red liner tape by changing your tool now. No, no, it's very temperamental. <laughs> so I'm going to pop this over in the diamond effect. I'm just going to place it. So the two corners, this bottom corner meets the bottom of my cardstock here and the edge just meets the end of the acetate. And it just gives it that little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to pop this one on again with a foam pad at the bottom. Oh, we have had such fun today, haven't we, Kat, showing you this top. collection? Yeah. And we're nearly done, I promise, we're nearly done. So oh I'm just no, going to pop fine. this over here. Ooh. We're going to add a sentiment. We've got to go. Sending love to put a spring in your step. Oh, and the steps in there as well. Just works so great. So back to our long foam pads. It's punny, but not overly cheesy, that no, sentiment. No, it's not. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, the team are just so clever thinking of such great sentiment, not just with their pudding sentiments, but all our sentiments. They really do such an amazing job of almost picking out the perfect ones. 100%. So we're just going to stick this on here. We'll add a couple more of the gems up in this top corner oh, to finish it off. Going with the uh, trusty vintage tones again. Yeah, definitely. It's the only one I brought in, so I've not got my, <laughs> oh, okay. much choice. But there we go. They go perfectly, so it's just as well. They really, really do. I think we'll just put, well, I think we'll go to the corners. I think that's what we'll. Oh, pretty. I think that's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. Just to finish it off, move my mess out the way, and then you end up oh. with this beautiful acetate stepper card. Wonderful card, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. What a way to end our show, guys. Three incredible demos that you can watch back anytime you like. Same with all of our shows on our website. You can just watch those back. Okay, we're going to love you and leave you for the day. Thank you so much for your company. We are going to pop our amazing water brush trio into our prize rollover box. They're going straight in there. Um, just a couple of things to leave you with. Um, our next Hobby Maker shows are tomorrow at two, three and four. Flipping it, we're working Natalie hard with a three hour stint. <laughs> she is going to be showcasing our wonderful new duo design paper pads and a little another second look at our fabulous Fairy Blossoms collection. Do not miss it, we can't wait for that. Um, tomorrow here, same time, same place, 10 o'clock, me and Anne-Marie will be with you for a fabulous Throwback Thursday show, so do not miss that. Um, we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Bye.